Hey guys, welcome to the JW Kelly Bourbon and Rye Rick House. We are here talking to Ed Cole today. He is the managing director of this wonderful place and all these wonderful spirits. Just wanted to kind of get a little bit of history behind JW Kelly and sort of how it ended up in Chattanooga. Yeah, uh, JW Kelly was actually born in Ireland. As a young lad, he decided to move to Nashville during the Civil War. And he became what we call a rectifier. A rectifier is a person who actually puts alcohol together, bottles it up under his own label, and then he sells it. In 1866, he moved down here to Chattanooga, where he actually opened up the first legal distillery after the Civil War, right down there on Broad Street. Because of the history, we have the business here. Can you kind of give us the difference between what bourbon and whiskey is? Whiskey is the generic term. Anything distilled from grain, bourbon, tequila, scotch, they're all whiskey. What makes bourbon bourbon? In order to be bourbon, it's got to be 51% corn. It has to be aged in brand new charred white oak barrels from the U.S. You cannot color it and you cannot flavor it. What is it about bourbon specifically that makes it so popular in the United States, like the South? What happens in the barrels, you get a lot of expansion and contraction. So in the summertime, when it gets so hot, it's pushing the bourbon into the wood and in the cold winter, it's pulling it back out. And that's what's creating your flavor because inside the wood itself, they actually char the wood, which caramelizes those vanillins. And when the liquid is pushed into the wood and pulled back out, it's pulling out all that sweet flavor and that color. That's very cool. I mean, I guess it makes sense then because we get those really extreme hot and cold temperatures in this area. We sure do. Very cool. What is this that we have here today? The base bourbon that we have is what we call Old Milford. The Old Milford is really one of the base bourbons that J.W. Kelly was making way back in the 1800s. Then we have our single barrel. We take one of these barrels and reduce it down to 109 proof. So it's going to be a little stout. You'll have a really good, nice and sweet corn profile to it. The other two over here are our rye. We have our Golden Age rye and our Melrose rye. The golden age is a rye whiskey. And what we've done a little bit different here is to put in rye, malted rye, and then some malted barley. That's gonna soften the rye down. So it's gonna wind up to be a little bit sweeter. Won't be a typical bitey rye. The Melrose rye that you like a lot is actually aged in an Amarone cask. Amarone is a, an Italian red wine. We get the barrels from Italy and we fill it full of rye. So now you've got a little bit of wine flavor in the rye. Well, that makes sense. I do like wine. <laughs> <laughs> Where can people find J.W. Kelly? We do most of the major markets. Go to your favorite local store and ask for it if it's not there, and they probably can get it for you. Well, Ed, thank you so much. My Appreciate pleasure. it. It's been wonderful chatting with you and hanging out here in the Rec House. Y'all, stick around. We'll be right back with more from the Heartland and J.W. Kelly Suite at Country Radio Seminar.